everyone. Before I get to the substance of today's video, I just want to express how thrilled I am at uh, how many of you have been watching my videos and commenting on them. Uh, that video that I made about uh, Mitt Romney's comments in Iowa and the left-wing reaction to it uh, got more comments. More people commented on that video than had commented on all of my previous videos combined. So you know, I, when I started doing this a few months ago, I, I wanted to start a dialogue, and even if I knew that I couldn't control or moderate that dialogue, I uh, wanted to offer my own unique perspective on uh, certain things in the news and, and, and get people talking, and I really feel like I'm doing that. So, so thanks a lot. Keep watching. Uh, today, I uh, want to uh, continue uh, some stuff I'd been talking about uh, this weekend, uh, but uh, it actually pertains to uh, the Republican presidential debate that uh, took place last week. I'm not really going to offer my take on that uh, unless someone wants me to. I, uh, I just feel like there's just too many people uh, chattering about it and... Uh, uh, you're probably sick of, of hearing about it. Uh, uh, so uh, what I want to start with today is um, somebody, a, a certain pundit's reaction to the Republican debate. Uh, this is a clip uh, from The Ed Show. It's the same uh, show that I took the clips that I published in this weekend's videos uh, from. But uh, take a look at this exchange between Ed Schultz and Bill Press. Is I thought tonight that uh, Newt Gingrich looked pretty strong. I mean, he talked I, about I it. What, what do you think, Bill? I did, too. And let me tell you something. I found myself nodding at the new committee is the dumbest idea that Congress ever came up with, man. Uh, you know, at, that's where, that's where here, Newt here. is good. Newt is a lousy candidate, but he's a good idea, man. He just has too many ideas, and maybe one-tenth of, the of them right. makes sense. Now, when I heard that, I thought it was interesting because they were actually saying somewhat praiseworthy things about Newt Gingrich. It was kind of a backhanded compliment on Bill Press's part, but uh, Ed Schultz certainly think, seemed to think that uh, Gingrich uh, performed very well at the debate, and that reminded me of something that he, Ed Schultz, had said back in May. And uh, when I heard this, I recorded it because I hope that someday I would be able to use it in a video. And sure enough, the opportunity presented itself, and I was able to import the clip uh, onto my computer and use it in a video. Uh, get a load of this. Newt Gingrich is, I guess you could say, blowing the racist dog whistle again. In his speech down in Macon, Georgia on Friday, the newtster took an ugly shot at President Obama. President Obama is the most successful food stamp president in American history. More people are on food stamps today than at any point in American history, and he's proud of it. He's proud of it. How do you know, Newt? Have you ever asked him? Uh, but let's get to the racist part of this. And I think we have to put this in the context of what the culture of the South is all about. Do you remember in uh, July of 2009 when Senator Jim DeMint of South Carolina made that racist comment, that old slavery slur term about President Obama, talking about health care, he said, if we can break him, if we can break him, that'll be his Waterloo. You know, that is as bad as it gets as bad as it gets really that's as bad as it gets what about saying uh what about saying that rush limbaugh has politicized the death of a little girl he hadn't by the way or accusing him of saying democrats don't care about dead children or or what about this how, how about this saying that republicans don't really give a damn about you after you're born. Or Republicans have been on this nonstop 30-year mission to murder the American dream by protecting only the rich. Or Republican economic policy has been a complete failure. Or that Senate Republicans are a pathetic joke and have no idea what the American people want. Or, <laughs> this may be my favorite, 
Democrats have always fought for and wanted social and economic justice for all Americans. <laughs> Uh, what about saying that uh, conservatives don't care about kids or the elderly or the students or the people that don't have the political clout? What about this? Uh, it's very clear that the Republican Party does not listen to people who don't have money. Uh, what about ugh, something pretty vile here about Senator Jim Inhofe of Oklahoma that I don't really want to repeat. Oh, oh, listen to this. Uh, George W. Bush's membership in, quote, the Lucky Sperm Club got him into Yale, unquote. These are all things that Ed Schultz has said on his MSNBC show, and in fact, these all came from the same program. All of this came from uh, one one hour show. All of these things were things that Ed Schultz said in a single show. In that same show, I think he also said that Republicans care more about uh, helping millionaires than helping children. So, uh, for Jim Inhofe to say that if we can defeat President Obama on health care, then we can break him, which was absolutely not racially charged at all, I think any fair and objective person could say that, is as bad as it gets, or that Newt Gingrich pointing out a fact that uh, President Obama has, you know, more people uh, are on food stamps now than have been at any time in our history. Uh, that, how is that as bad as it gets? Ugh. Well, uh... There was something else I wanted to show y'all on this topic. What was it? 11.1 million were unemployed then, compared to almost 14 million unemployed now. And 13 and a half million more people are on food stamps today. Oh, right. It was that thing that uh, uh, Nora O'Donnell said on MSNBC, pointing out again that... Under President Obama, so many more <laughs> more people are on food stamps now uh, than ever before. So is Nora O'Donnell a racist, Ed? Ugh. I mean, th beware of, of when the left uh, appears to compliment Republicans, because it's, eh, it's short-lived, usually. And, in this case, I'm sure they'll have something more to say about it today. Now, I don't like it. As a general principle, I don't like it when politicians or anybody else play on other people's prejudices. And that's exactly what Ed Schultz did in uh, this May program that I'm showing you clips from. Uh, he went off on a long tear about Newt Gingrich and Jim DeMint, and, uh, well, here's another uh, sampling of, of, of what he said. The fact of the matter is, if you want to pick on the food stamp program, once again, Newt is on, he's standing on quicksand, no question about that. And, of course, he said it in friendly territory down in Georgia, playing to an old white audience. But the fact of the matter is, is that Newt knows exactly what he's doing, just getting to the water's edge. We'll talk more about it. But Newt was asked about the food stamp comment on Meet the Press and immediately played the victim. First of all, you gave a speech in Georgia with language a lot of people think could be coded racially tinged language, calling the president, the first black president, a uh, food stamp president. Oh, what did you on, mean David, and what was the point? That's, that's bizarre. That, this kind of automatic pre reference to racism, this is the President of the United States. The President of the United States has to be held accountable. Now, the idea that, and, I, and what I said is factually true, 47 million Americans are on food stamps. One out of every six Americans is on food stamps. And to hide behind the charge of racism, I have, I have never said anything about President Obama which is racist. Well, there's a lot of Americans out there, including me, that disagrees with that. You see, being from the South, you know what these code words are all about. And to say something about food stamps is not about white folks. It's about black folks. There's no question about it. So, in one fell swoop, Ed Schultz uh, not only accused 
Newt Gingrich and Jim DeMint of racist attacks on President Obama, but also made just really baseless attacks against an entire group of people, my people, white Southerners. It's disgusting, and it's just another example of cognitive dissonance uh, on uh, the left. Well, uh, that's about all I have to say on this matter. Be sure to check out my website. Uh, let me know what you think. And uh, until next time, don't mess with the right-wing genius.